chaps uh, welcome back it's been a while since I've done a I've done a video so I thought I thought um, it's about time I, I put something together so I thought there's quite a few videos coming up by the way um, because I'm doing a whole bunch of a whole, a whole bunch of modifications on the car so uh, keep your eyes peeled for a series of uh, videos that I'm currently compiling um, that they're that they're too they're too long to put together all in one video so there's going to be a series of them they're mostly around cooling and making the car more more efficient and more power but this video i thought i would just talk about the brake bias adjuster so if you don't know how it actually works or what it is uh, this video will explain that also i had a problem the reason i i thought of this video is because i had a problem on track uh, because of because of this so I'll get to that a bit later on, but for those of you that don't know uh, what a brake bias adjuster or remote brake bias adjuster is, it's basically on this car anyway. It's this this dial here. It's a Tilton um, Tilton dial, uh, and you turn it. You turn it. Um, so F is you turn it to the front. So if you the, the direction of the arrow. So if I turn it this way, it adjusts the braking to the front of the car. Uh, the rear, uh, the R is for the rear, so if I turn it this way, adjust the braking, uh, more braking on the rear. So racing cars tend to have this, uh, and, and it's a very, uh, very, very cool feature. And effectively, how it works is very, very simple. It's a mechanical thing. So at the end of this dial, it's basically a, uh, a wire. If I can pull this sheath back, you might be able to see behind it's basically like, like a big spring um, and when you twist it it basically loads up the wire and it goes all the way along here you can see this is the wire here um, and then plugs actually plugs into the the brake balance bar here this is this is what we call the brake balance bar and there's a grub screw under the, 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 this you can see as I turn it it's actually twisting this bar so you can see the grub screw there the grub screw is what keeps the the cable this grub screw here is what keeps the cable from falling out and it keeps it nice and taut effectively so what that cable connects to is um, basically it's it's the, the 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 balance bar is the division between the two brake uh, the brake cylinders the brake master cylinders so on this car there's two like there is on most sort of track cars and racing cars um so this is the left one is the front uh the front uh, brake cylinder and this one is the rear and this is made by tilt these are both made by tilton and you can see um if we get the camera in here you can see the piston is that there um just trying to get my hand in there so this this here is the piston that's connected to this this rod here um and and if you you can just see the other piston which is this one that's the rear and then this this whole unit this whole um installation is connected connected to, to that bar that i just showed you this black thing here is actually the pedal the pedal box which is also a tilt and um, a tilting unit. So if I press the, the brake pedal here, the middle one, um, you can see that the brake pedal is moving. So you can, I don't know if you can just see through this gap here. Um, so of course, ha however you load that brake bar up, divides the brake in between the two cylinders. And this car is very manual. There's no electronics here. It's simply you and the, and the brake pedal. Uh, so the harder you push it, the more pressure you're going to get uh, down the brake line and into the brakes. So if I wanted a 50-50 divide, then of course I just I just wind that dial back to give me a division of 50-50% between the two brake cylinders. So it's a very, very cool feature to have. Um, if I didn't have the remote dial, and of course i would adjust it here it's not the end of the world actually you don't it's a bit of a gimmick adjusting it on the track actually um normally you, you'll come into the pits and you would adjust this this doesn't really make sense on the road it's really a track thing 
The downside is, there's a couple of downsides of this design actually, and, and that is, it's not very accurate. You have to kind of gauge, you have to count the turns. And there are 14 turns uh, from one side to the other. But of course, that's not particularly accurate. I mean, if you look at this, if I turn that, it, you see, it has to load up the cable and then it spins. So there's a lot of, obviously, pressure. So anyway, coming to the, the issue that I had with this, when I was at the track last, I thought the brakes weren't working properly. When I was turning that dial, it just wasn't doing doing what it normally does. And I got back and I was turning it and I noticed that the, the bar wasn't moving. And it turns out that this, this cable just popped out um, and uh, the end of the cable is all mangled up. So of course it, it's come loose over time. And I do, I do normally adjust it actually quite a bit, but I didn't on that particular track day. Um, well, it wasn't working anyway. But so the fix is quite simple, really. I just, I just cut the the mangled bit off, and then soldered it um, to make it to make it stronger actually, and then pushed it in and done that rub screw up really tight. I may even lock tie that rub screw actually. I've not done that. I'm not sure. If the, I'm not sure the rub screw comes loose, but it's more more the metal gets damaged. So I. Put it in, done it back up, and hopefully that will that will fix it. And then the other thing I did is um, this this sheath here, because you're turning this a lot, there's a lot of friction going behind this sheath. So I just greased that up with some white grease to make it slide a bit easier. And yeah, so that's it really. Short and sweet video on the, on what the brake bias adjuster does and uh, and and the issue that I had on track. So. If you have one of these cars or a brake remote brake bar suggester, just bear in mind to keep, keep an eye on it, and uh, it's a mechanical thing that so needs looking at and maintaining. Cheers.